How's it going? Today I'm going to go over how to draw a Christmas octopus. It's going to be simple, easy, for beginners, cartoon style, uh, pretty cute I think. Um, and that's it. So follow me all the way through. Uh, it's going to be a short lesson, only going to be about roughly, I want to say like eight-ish minutes, not very long. Um, but you will learn a lot and uh, let's get started, okay? Oops, so Daisy, I'm going to move these over. First thing I'm going to do is on this side I'm going to start with a curve for the side of the face, curve down here for the side of the face, I'm going to add tentacle here, pull back over here, going to do it down some more, it's an S curve S curve all the way back up over here S curve all the way over here and let's say one more not one more we're gonna do two more over here and there's gonna be one over here let's do another one back here in fact All right, got the bottom with the tentacles there. You can put like another one in the back here as well if you'd like. All right, now I'm gonna draw one eye over here. It's just gonna be like that, very like simple, like a like a gravestone shape over here. Right here, dot 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 dot. So it's a straight line, but it's it's uh, riveted. Sorry if I have like a red paint on my hand. I don't know. People think like it hurts, right? Like a red right here. People think I like hit myself in the car. Uh, this black though is actually I I slam my hand in the car. <laughs> I'm not joking. That was uh, the black is that that actually is a that's actual an actual wound. Uh, <laughs> all right here along the edges. Same thing, same pattern all the way across for the brim of that hat. Looks like he has a hairdo, but right now it's just a hat. Over here on this side, curve across the top, down. Over here on this side, curve up, line up over here, down. Dot, 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 dot. It's going to be the ball, this popcorn ball, this elaborate popcorn ball. And right here we're going to draw the smile, which is like an inverse of the others. But this one's going to have a line across. There you go. And we can even curve right there for the tongue and then fill in the space at the top. Okay, and another thing you can do is you can draw little uh, suction cups at the bottom here, like that, as little like ball shapes. It can really help, you know, with the the whole design. Let me move it back to the center there, and you don't really have to do that, but it's a good idea. Let's go ahead and color it real quick. Uh, just a quick pass, nothing wild. Right here, we're gonna. I'm just gonna go over here and take a marker with a red. Uh, so you can color it in anything you want. You can color it in crayon. You can color it in colored pencil. You can color it in anything, pastels, whatever you want. I, I would actually prefer. Um, I prefer colored pencil, honestly, but the reason I'm using marker here is so that I can, I can, it's a demonstration, right? So I can go through it relatively quick so that you don't have to 
you know, worry about it or anything like that. There we go. Right on, right on. Cool, cool. And I can take a, uh, it's like a bit of a purple for him, but I, I guess I could do a um, orange, like a light orange maybe, nothing too wild for his skin. But you can obviously choose whatever color you want. Yeah, it's kind of light orange for his skin, it's pretty cool. And like I said, I'm mostly just going over it flat. I recommend Prismacolor though. Uh, I actually, for the line art, I use uh, Crayola. And the reason I do that is because it is uh, inexpensive and I use the black constantly. Like, I mean constantly. But the one thing that Crayola doesn't do as far as like Crayola, that Crayola does, is, Crayola does, is, um, there's like a paper underneath with some markings on it. That's what it was. I was like, what is that? Um, the thing I like the most about it is it won't smear. I can go right through it like that. See how I did that right through that black line? And it will not smear. That's not the same thing when I do it with a Crayola orange. When I do it with it, when I, the, see the, the, Prisma color, the Prisma color will not smear. It will not smear on this. It's, I don't know why. It's awesome. Um, the other one will. <laughs> like the Crayola uh, orange, when I use it here, it will smear the black like entirely. Um, there we go. There we go. Alrighty. So for the tongue, I forgot. I should have just used the red. You can use a red or like a pink. There we go. And we're going to have a blue here. Or like a kind of purple. I like to align the edges. It could be a purple or a blue. It's whatever you like. Um, Usually blue though, but you know, just along the edges over here looks like reflected light. You don't have to do this, but it's like an extra thing. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, you, if you really want to go hard, you can maybe put like uh, spots over here. You know, because sometimes they have spots on their skin. But you don't have to. Thank you so much. I will talk to you next time, and I will see you soon, all right? Don't forget, go check out uh, lots of cool stuff in the description.